I'm here with Takia Matsumoto, who is the lead programmer and lead designer on The Last Story, which is coming out from Xseed. And Mr. Matsumoto, could you please tell me a little bit about your game? It's a fantasy action RPG, but uh, as Sakaguchi-san usually likes to put in, it has an abundance of over-technology within the world, uh, and it revolves around a fantasy world in an action RPG. So it's a little bit similar to Sakaguchi's previous project, Final Fantasy, is that right? So working with him, I think Sakaguchi-san wanted to make some kind of, something like a Final Fantasy story aspect into a, a new game system. And tell me a little bit about that game system. Action RPG, you said, but... So it is an action RPG, but uh, they really wanted to amplify, uh, use the part that's really the good parts about turn-based, like strategizing which kind of enemies they are, what kind of battlefield you're in, what kind of elements they're involved, into... So the most challenging part was to have all that good stuff into a real-time action combat system. Now, the interesting thing about the last story is that it actually has a cover system, which is a lot like a lot of Western action shooters. Um, was Sakaguchi-san kind of inspired by those sorts of games, like Gears of War, for example? So, since this game is an uh, real-time uh, combat system, they wanted to have these like little moments that you can actually assist and see what's going on in the battlefield. But if there's too much of that moment, it's, it'll be more like a turn-based RPG. So they wanted to have some kind of a medium in that, and that's where they came up with like something like a cover system like Gears of War, because it is a game that Sakaguchi-san and Matsumoto-san really likes. And by having those little moments, they can actually have the little the player to take a take a breath and then uh, assess what's going on around them. So some of the previous Mistwalker games include Blue Dragon, which are traditional turn-based RPGs. Um, Mistwalker isn't so well known for its action games. Um, was it a challenge to develop an action game for um, kind of the first time? So Miss Walker is known for their turn-based RPG, but also the development that I was involved in, Artune. Artune was a development company that we made a lot of action games, so I think we were able to communicate with each other and what's good and what we can use. So there's a lot of like uh, features in it that you can actually have the settings that you don't have to push the A button to attack, so there's an auto attack system, and there's a system that you can configure in the setting that if you duck down, you bring out the bow and arrow right away. So there's a lot of stuff that it's easy for like a non-action player to use as well. Levels are a big part of this. Um, some, like the ceiling can collapse on bad guys. How hard it was it to design such interesting and intricate levels? So usually I like fantasize about what can happen in the real world, like ceiling falling or going flanking behind people. So I started writing like the uh, battle scenario and then created the floor plan and then from there I went to scripting. All right, last story from Hironobu Sakaguchi and Mr. Matsumoto coming out in summer 2012.